In this video, you will learn how to integrate Tecla Structural Designer model with Tecla Structure and visualize the 3D design reinforcement successfully. You are very welcome. Let us start. So here is Tecla Structural Designer. And this is the model we are going to be integrating and visualizing the design reinforcement in Tecla Structure. So before you should integrate this model with a class structure you have to ensure the model is analyzed and designed for instance if i select any of this the first concrete column i right click on it in the drop down menu i come to interactive design static so you see over here that the column sections has been designed and all of the design conditions has passed all right, I click on the OK option. This model was actually model load, analyze, and design in our previous presentations on our channel. You can see the presentations. You can also follow up. So after having checked all of that and everything is good, we will now have to navigate to the class structure. So here is the class structure. So once we get to this interface, come to the new option, give it a name, and then click on create to create a project in Tecla structure. Now the project is created successfully. You have to navigate to this 3 dot provision. We want to import the model right away. Click here and then come to import option in the import option navigate to tecla structural designer option click on it so this will open a dialog another one thing you need to bear in mind is that you have to know the location where you save this model and then you have to also take note of the model name because that is the name we are actually importing. Let's get back to Tecla structure. Over here, under import file, click in this provision. This will take you to the directory where you actually save the model. In your own case, it may take you to your document, so you just have to navigate through your document to where you actually save the class structural designer model then here is the model select it and click on open so once you click on open you come down leave everything here default if you expand this you will notice that the import reverse is checked so this will automatically check at default so you don't need to make changes click on import option and then it is updating so just give the program so seconds to update and perform the import successfully. Over here, in this dialog, click on accept changes. So once you click on accept changes, you can see the import have taken place. Now it is processing the rebars. So you give it some seconds to process the rebars before we now start to look at the rebars and its connection so that is successful all right after which you have to close this dialog and then navigate back to the class structure here is the class structure and this is the model we just imported from the class structural designer and then this is in a solid form if you want to see the reinforcement just do control one and this will show the whole reinforcement connections for the beams and columns of the whole model, just like this, including the foundations you can see from here. So if you zoom closely, you can see the reinforcement and it anchorage successfully, just like this. So with this reinforcement, if you select on this column right here and then come over to the property dialog, you can see the name is column. This is the profile, which is the column section. 
this is the material used in the class structural designer for the analysis and design successfully and so we can carry out the detailed drawings even in this program of this whole structure including the foundation successfully it is one of the easiest way for you to model your reinforcement also in particular structure importing it after designing in the class structural designer successfully okay so you can see this is the right way and the most easiest way you can actually import your model all right and so i believe you have learned one or two things you can check in the description of this video and then you will see a link of this file which you can use and practice as well okay also in the description there is a group chat link so you can as well join our group chat and there are templates as well in the description of this video which you can use to fast track your detailing work successfully all right if you have any question do not hesitate to drop it in the comment sections i will respond to it accordingly all right so we are going to be stopping here see you in the next presentation which we may be talking about the detailing of all of these structural elements using tecla structure successfully have a great day and bye for now